This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. Hey everybody, my name's Pharmacy. I'm going to start this Medical Minute off with a pop quiz. Does anyone know what indications we use glucagon for? Beta blocker overdose. All right, beta blocker overdose. That was the topic for today, but I was hoping some people would say hypoglycemia, or if you have a foreign body stuck in your throat, that can help too. But we use it for beta blocker toxicity. And beta blocker toxicity, obviously beta blockers slow the rate, the heart rate. Uh, they slow or they lower the contractility strength of uh, the heart. Now when we use glucagon, it bypasses that blockade. And some of you may be thinking first line for bradycardia, you defer to ACLS. You're thinking atropine, epi, dopamine, but it's shown in toxicity studies that glucagon is actually superior when you're using it specifically for beta blocker reversal or beta blocker associated bradycardia. Um, so in toxicity, we actually use pretty large doses. In hypoglycemia, we use one milligram usually. Um, if we don't have IV access for giving dextrose, but in toxicity for beta blocker overdose, we give doses as high as five to 10 milligrams. To add to the complexity, patients that have heart failure, severe heart failure, it decreases the efficacy of glucagon. Now, most of our patients that have heart failure happen to be on a beta blocker. So if you give a low dose of one milligram, two milligrams, and you aren't seeing an improvement in their heart rate from beta blocker toxicity, it may just mean that you need to increase the dose. So I don't know if any of you really pulled up glucagon, but they only come in one milligram vials and they have to be reconstituted. So in a toxicity, you may have to put together five or more of these boxes. It can really be a pain. But yeah, you admix them, give it IV push over about five minutes. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything that I had to say. So key points, glucagon for beta blocker toxicity, big doses up to 10 milligrams. Sometimes you have to start an infusion afterwards and heart failure will decrease the efficacy. So in heart failure, you may have to use higher doses. All right, that's all I got. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division, and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.